All right, so let's talk bar muscle ups. Uh, this is one of those skills that everybody want to have. Um, but unfortunately, I see so much crap on the internet that just doesn't transfer to the bar muscle ups or that the drills that they use to try to explain is something completely different what they actually do in the movement. Um, biomechanically, we want the movement and the drills to always be in the direction of the movement itself. You know the principle of said, specifically adapt to the imposed demand, and that's exactly what we want to do. So we want to try to keep the movement as good as possible, not come up with a bunch of drills that doesn't work, and just because we can already do a bar muscle ups, we're coming up with something new. Old school basics is where it is at. Okay, so set up for what we want to do. Um, I call this the low bar um, kip uh, for bar muscle up, low bar kip. And what we want to do is we want to set up the bar more or less at hip height or kind of crotch height. You don't want to go higher than that, then it just becomes a little bit too easy. But you can always start there and work your way down. Now, being super low is also not meaning that you're better. It, it, it might, you know, negatively impact the movement. So kind of crotch height is more or less okay, pocket height. Um, the way that we set it up, we put the J-hooks on the inside so that when we pull on the bar, we're actually pulling into the rig. Don't make the mistake of putting the J-hooks down and pulling on the opposite side. Uh, in front of us, we want to have something that we can push against. I'm just going to push against the rig here um, just because it's stable, but you can take a dumbbell, you can take plates, stack them up. Have something in front of you that doesn't move, that allows good foot position for you to be able to, uh, to drive off. Now, the main mover of this movement is the hip. We want to focus on the hip moving as much as possible. So movement look like this. Okay, you grip, go into your position, hollow position, extend and over. I want you specifically to look at my hip and then at my arms. Do you see that there's first a very aggressive hip extension and then after that, there's that press down on the bar and I sit up into the movement. I don't press up at the top, I sit up and I lean over the movement. Now when you do this, try not to think about the movement as that. Try more to think about the movement as that, as pushing your hip forward, instead of pressing your heels back into the floor and then driving off the floor. It's more of a hip extension upwards than it is about pushing the heels back into the floor to get you to go up, if that makes sense. It's the same thing as when you deadlift, instead of thinking of pulling, you're thinking of driving into the floor. It's that kind of mindset principle. Now, how can we make this a little bit harder? Because remember, it's not about being able to just do the drill. It's about creating a lot of muscle memory so that by the time we take it to the high bar, bang, that muscle memory is set already. So we can take a band. We can take a band and progressively overload the position a little bit. Pop the band around a heavy object here just to pull it away. And you can progressively work this, you know, all the way back or start here. Then climb into the band and make sure that the band is around the waist at the hip area. Then you set into the same position. Now remember, the band is pulling me back. So I have to have a much greater hip extension and sit up over the, the bar in order to actually execute it. So this mimics so much what happens at the top of the bar when you lift the hip, uh, the feet up into the hollow position, and then you start traveling backwards with speed. This is going to counteract that position. So we have to fight for that position not to happen. Okay. So again, on my good position, I go into my hollow, tight, hip, and extension. So I'm just going to slow it down for a second. So you'll see that the prime mover here is the hip. It's pulling the hip back because that's our center of mass that we want to get higher. So when we're in the hollow position here, we want to get the hip to be up as high as possible before we just pull the upper body over. Now this, this drill has to happen dynamic. You can't do it slowly. But the main aim here, keep your legs locked, don't bend the knees, 
drive that hip up with a lot of power and force and then sit up over the movement. All right, guys, have fun with it. If you like this, please, please subscribe. I'd love it. Like, comment, all that. Share it with your friends. If you think somebody can uh, make some use out of this, then I, uh, I'd appreciate that. All right, ciao. Thank you.